Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 14th annihilation lingering Shangshu trials. In this video, we need silver ash, E2, S3, M3. Your best vanguard, silver ash facing up, E3 facing down. Start true silver slash when mortal skill is on. A nut warrior facing right. Guard Amiya's talent is to increase everyone's attack and defense. If you don't have Guard Amiya, you'd better prepare the operators with higher levels. A Hookmaster facing up, Padenko facing left, a Splashcaster facing down. Perfumer facing left. Perfumer is important because her talent can heal your hookmaster. Another splash caster facing up. Aaron facing right. Then replace Silver Ash with Gumi. When Aaron is blocking a peacock, he can start his skill. See, the teapot won't attack your hookmaster, but it will deal some damage once it dies. That's why we need perfumer. At 200 kills, the blue flowers will show up. Then, you can retreat your vanguard. When the dragon starts attacking, deploy someone to attract its third attack. Then retreat, because the dragon's third attack is really painful. Aaron won't survive. At, 200, at 233 kills, when this dragon enters Aaron's attacking range, start Aaron's skill, and deploy Myrtle to attract its attack. Then retreat. After we killed this teapot, deploy Silver Ash facing right. At 250 kills, the Sinking Sands will appear, then start True Silver Slash immediately. Every time when Silver Ash killed the Sinking Sands, you can start Iron skill to deal some damage on the original forms. Then Ethan and Potenko will be less stressful. At 283 kills, redeploy your Ash facing right immediately. Potenko's skill to kill the original forms of the Sinking Sands. Start True Silver Slash to kill this Sinking Sand. And this dragon. Then retreat. You can start Aaron's skill now. And now you can redeploy your vanguard to produce more DP. Start perfumers, lavas, and gumi skills. At 320 kills, retreat your vanguard. Then, after your hookmaster drags the teapot into the hole, deploy silver ash facing right. Start shoot silver slash as soon as the sinking sands appear. Then start Iron skill to deal some damage on the original forms and retreat. At 333 kills, deploy Myrtle to suffer its third attack, then retreat. For this dragon, you don't have to do anything. 
Your hookmaster will drag it into the hole. Then deploy your ash facing right. Potential skill to kill the original forms of the sinking sand. At 350 kills, start to save a slash as soon as the sinking sands appear. Then retreat to the ash immediately after killing them. Again, now you can start iron steel. When the fat bird starts moving, start gumi skill. Myrtle to suffer this dragon's third attack. At 360 kills, start perfumers, lavas, and Amias skills. Redeploy Silver Ash immediately facing right. Start True Silver Slash immediately. Then retreat Silver Ash as soon as he kills them. Iron skill to deal some damage on the original forms. Potential skill to kill the original forms. Start Gumi skill as soon as it's ready and start Chitano skill. Myrtle to suffer the third attack of this dragon. Once your hookmaster drags this teapot into the hole, deploy your caster facing right. Start perfumer skill and lava skill as soon as it's ready. Tango skill. So let this caster deal some damage on the sinking sand. Start Iron skill as soon as the sinking sand enters Iron's attacking range. Potential skill. Start perfumer skill and lava skill as soon as they are ready. Deploy silver ash facing up when the hard billows are attacking Erin. Now you can retreat Erin and your hookmaster. Get surfacing up. Myrtle here. When the hard billows are attacking Myrtle, start true silver slash.
I leaked two sinking sands, but don't worry, just start everyone's skill to kill them. Now it's 400 kills. Congratulations! Mission accomplished.